Star Wars Action Figure Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review, and this time I have the Rebel Commando. You know, I saw this guy at stores quite often, you know, if I really wanted to, I probably could have army built this guy, to, you know, was, and I also saw the uh, the variant of him too, but I just never picked it up and kind of regret not doing so, because, you know, I need some more Rebel Troopers, you know, Hoth and Endor, and just um, you know, the ones from Episode Four. And I just need more of those figures in my collection. So, you know, saw him at a convention for $3. Definitely picked him up for that price. I mean, he's, he looked, I mean, for $3, of course. Definitely. So there he is in the packaging. This trench coat there. Rebel Commando. You got some other Rebel Commando there. Not the same one that we get as the action figure. Return of the Jedi. Um, you know, just your standard vintage packaging. Vintage collection packaging. Some other figures in the wave. I actually have all these, except for the R2-D2. I have one R2-D2 in my collection, and that's enough. <laughs> the original card, that looks pretty cool. And the Celebrate the Legendary Star Wars Saga synopsis there. Number 26. I'm um, pretty sure this was released in 2010. Could be 2011, but... Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a nice look at him. Alright, so here he is out of packaging. This is a really cool figure. You know, I'm not quite sure why I skipped out on him, because he has some great accessories. The look of, you know, the Endor soldiers, just awesome. I mean, he's, he just looks cool. Definitely a great army builder, you know, and just awesome. Just a great looking figure. Going to have to find the variant soon. So let's go ahead and take a look at his backpack first. So just great. Got the camo paint apps going on there. Some nice sculpting on these things, whatever they are. <laughs> You know, I'm not quite sure of the details, so someone else probably out there knows, so you can fill me in in the comments. But uh, just a great little pack. I mean, there is some, you know, inaccuracy, of course, because it's just pretty much attached to them without any straps or anything like that, but not a big deal. And, you know, you just remove it. Nice hole uh, in the middle of his back, you know, hole in the trench coat, and then you've got the pig right there. But just a really cool accessory, and it just looks good with it on. Um, without it, it just kind of looks funny, but, you know, it's, it, it's workable. I mean, you could definitely display the figure without the backpack. And sometimes it's a pain to, tr you know, to get it, get the backpack on there. Okay. And then I'm going to show you his accessories because I really want to show the figure without the uh, robe. So that's one of his guns, which is really cool. There's some nice details on that. It's a really nice piece. I don't think I've ever seen this before. And then you got the leather, brown leather strap. Which, of course, isn't leather, but, you know, so that's a really nice accessory. And then you've got this blaster pistol there. And he does have a holster, which I'll show in a second. Okay. Um, he's got the trench coat that we see with the Han Solo trench coat. Um, in trench coat, same one, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, some some great coloring on it. you got got the camo flash going here with the light greens and the light browns and the darker brown. So, looks really nice, and you do have actual pockets, so you can put a blaster in there, or anything else. Okay, I've got this removable helmet, which seems a little bit oversized, but not too bad. Some nice little details, definitely like the green being used on this thing. Great, great piece, and that's his facial sculpt. It's a really nice facial sculpt, I'm glad what they went with the bald look and the goatee. Very, very nice. And then got some gloves on there. So let's go ahead and remove this. And let's see if I can do it fast. There we go. Awesome. So there it is. Nice, soft, good trench coat. Definitely a nice little extra. So, you know, you can also display, display your indoor soldier without it. And I think he looks pretty good without it as well. Uh, you've got this uh, bandolier, which is removable. You can definitely remove it. Um, it's attached to the belt, and the belt can be removed. But I'm not going to do that. It seems like it would be a pain. But you know, it looks like you got some grenades on there, some sort of weapons or bombs or something like that. So that's really really cool. And it goes around. There's a peg hole. And then you got these nice big pouches here. Some nice detail work on the belt. And then you got the working holster. So I just really, really like that. I think that's awesome. You got the camo pants with all the different pouches. 
looks really cool. Really good sculpting on this guy. You got the boots, it's got some weathering to it. Very, very nice. And he's just got this off white long sleeve shirt. So, I mean, this guy looks really good. I'm really, really happy with this figure. Such an awesome looking figure. I definitely want to get some a couple more of these guys. Just looks so darn cool. Uh, articulation, wonderful. You got the ball jointed head, you got the ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the waist, ball hinged knees, ball hinged ankles, somewhere around there, <laughs> and the ball hinged, I'm sorry, ball hinged knees and the ball hinged ankles. There it is. Highs really well. So, great, great figure. Really, really like this guy. Highly recommend it. You can definitely find him for a good price. Um, I know he tends to be on Amazon, eBay for usually around $10 or less. So, definitely a good army builder. Highly recommend it. Get this guy if you don't have him. So, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this review. And until next time, guys, may the force be with you.